subscribe hey guys as you can see good lighting that's because i'm shooting this video in the daytime but anyway um i think i said subscribe already right yeah i think i said that this video is about staying anabolic at all times i repeat staying anabolic at all times what do i mean a lot of us forget you know as we study bodybuilding we learn we learn a few things on like monday tuesday we learn something else wednesday we learn something else a year goes by we forgot what we learned on that first monday Anabolic and catabolic states. We all know what they mean. That you know, basic fundamental principles of bodybuilding. But do we apply them? A lot of us forget that you got to be anabolic almost at all times. It's impossible to be anabolic at all times, but you have to try to be anabolic as much as you can. For the for the you know newbies out there, anabolic is the state when your body is building muscle instead of destroying it. How do you know if you're anabolic or not? Well, put it this way: if you're losing fat, if your body's burning fat, your body fat percentage is going down, you're catabolic. That's a big way to put it in a nutshell. Your body cannot build muscle and burn fat at the same time. On the other hand, if your body is, um, this is applied to bodybuilders, not just regular fat people. If you're, if you, if you bulking up and you notice a lot of fat gains in your midsection, meaning your body's throwing a lot of fat, you anabolic because insulin is, you know, in the fact that, you know, it's insulin that, you know, makes you start fat and like, shut, you know, shuttles all the good stuff into your muscles and things like that. So look, look for the fat point. That's the way I break it down to like, I don't want to say simple, Mind people, but to like beginners, I, t I put people to tell them, look at your body fat percentage. If you see that it's increasing as you're lifting and eating, of course, it's a good sign, believe it or not, that you're building muscle. Now, somebody who doesn't lift weights, if your body fat percentage is going up, that does not mean you're building muscle. You know what I'm saying? I'm right now, my audience is bodybuilders, weightlifters. So make sure, how do you stay on the body? Make sure you, you know, have enough carbs, your glycogen stores are always full. Remember, after every workout, you need to replenish your glycogen stores, and they don't come back in one meal. People take one post-workout meal, and they think, oh, my glycogen stores have failed. No, 5% per hour. That's the average that your body replenishes glycogen stores. So if you had 100% right now, you go to the gym, and you work, you work out down to 20% of your glycogen stores, do the math. You, need, you have 80% to go. It could take, it'll take you literally a whole day to go from 0% to 100% glycogen stores. So think about that when you work out and your post-nutrition meal, it's not just your post-workout meal, it's every meal you're going to eat after that. You want to make sure you replenish your glycogen store. That's why it's very bad to go to the gym on successive days, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then the break on Thursday. No, because on Monday, you, if you went to failure on every exercise, you wiped out your glycogen stores. Um, on Tuesday, you're not fully recovered yet and you're working out again, so you're cutting your glycogen st stores down and down and down and down. Eventually, your body's not going to build any muscle because before your body even begins to send a signal to build muscle your glycogen stores have to be full you got to have enough energy because that's the, the way your body goes glycogen stores have to be full fat has to be there and not being burnt then your body goes all right we have more than enough energy to accommodate for the extra muscle size and mass because building muscles are very stressful um, um process this video is too long i'm going to try to make a part two to it but um yeah check out part two subscribe Seven days to live. This is day number. Fuck. One, two, three, four, six, seven. Anyway, part two coming.